What's up guys, welcome to video number two with the Murph Challenge series. So we talked, first of all, mental preparedness number, uh, in the first video. In the second video, I'm gonna go over some activation strategies. So keep in mind, this may look like mobility, but this is actually just a you know a dial back version just to start activate some of your muscles, get you ready for the challenge ahead. So I'm gonna introduce you to my favorite active mobility tools here. Um, so of course we have active mobility balls. Um, number two, we have a eclipse roller. Number three, we have an ultimate back roller. And then we have these nice um, hip, you know, circles like that. They're resistant circles. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, upper body first activation. So keep in mind, we're running and we're doing pull-ups and push-ups for upper body. So running, yes, it's an upper body movement and you wanna have an upright posture. So number one, we wanna activate those postural muscles, those sleepy ones usually in our middle back, like middle traps, uh, middle rhomboids. Um, so you wanna get those uh, activated or woken up. So we're gonna take two active mobility balls. You're gonna put those right in your middle back between your scapula. Feet flat on the floor. Very simply, you're going to move your arms up and down. Okay, you can do that in a couple different spots here. Get right into those upper traps. So what we're looking to do is essentially create optimal communication of your nervous system, okay, with these muscle groups. You're just doing two or three passes, okay? Um, so we're, we got the middle back going on. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is the, the lats. Of course, we're gonna be using the lats a lot with the pull-ups. I like this um, eclipse roller for that. Essentially, we're gonna get right into here in the middle of the uh, eclipse roller here because this is able to wrap around tissue and really grind into some of those grooves of your lat. So you're going to put your um, opposite leg flat, your foot flat on the floor. Essentially, you're going to work your body back and forth. You're looking for any resistance in there. You're just trying to wake up some of the tissue. You can even move your arm through a little bit of range to wake it up again just two or three passes on both sides. Number three, you're gonna wake up your pecs a little bit. So, you're gonna take one of your active mobility balls. Okay, you're gonna lunge into the ball in just two or three passes, one or two different spots, okay? You're doing this on both sides of your body, of course. Now we're gonna wake up the lower body. Okay, number one, with the lower body, once again, we'll use our active mobility ball, and we'll get right into our glute. When our glutes nice and fired up for the squatting ahead. So you're putting that ball right into your glute and you're doing some of these reverse clamshell type of movements. Okay, you're also doing some of these knee to chest movements. Okay, trying to stay active on the ball. You also wanna get right on the hip, glute medius and that TFL area, lay right on the ball, lift your leg up and down three or four times, hunting around for some areas that need a little more action there, okay? And the clips roller once again, we're gonna roll our calves right into there, okay? Again, this is full body roll. You can lay the other foot right on top for a little extra resistance. We're just gonna go right from, all the way from the ankle, all the way up to the back of the knee. Just a couple quick passes to wake up that tissue, get the nervous system primed, okay? And we're gonna finish off with just a nice Ultimate back roll through that middle back. Do a couple of these swim movements. Okay, work that thoracic flexion and extension. Okay, now that we've got everything woken up, we're gonna do a couple activation drills. We're gonna use our acumobility circle here. Okay, what you wanna do is you want to externally rotate, okay, and bring your elbows apart and throw yourself into a nice plank position, okay? We're doing, you know, a, a nice 20 to 30 second hold. After you do that, you throw this into your lower body, right around the knees, okay? Externally rotate the knees, okay? And come up into a bridge position. And you're gonna hold for two or three seconds at the top, okay? Just doing a couple Repetitions, and you stand right up and we're gonna do, okay, some marches side to side, really wake up those hip stabilizers. And then we'll do 
a few air squats to finish off. Okay, that should get you nice and prepped, woken up for the challenge ahead. So if you don't have Acu Mobility gear, you can always get this on AccuMobility.com. Um, you can go to Amazon or you can use whatever you got. You can always use lacrosse balls. Um, you could use PVC pipe. Um, you could use any old band. I do recommend these because they are designed for mobility. Um, so whatever you got, good luck with the workout. I'll see you next week for video number three, our final video on nutritional preparedness. See you then.